What about acting in 2021? What are the plans for your acting in 2021? What about making a New Year resolution? Might that help? You know, some actors think that planning your acting is a waste of energy, while others spend a lot of time making plans only to feel very defeated in a short period of time. I'll explain the value of looking forward with a clear view of what acting can mean for you in this new year, in this final episode of 2020 of Casting Actors Cast. Well, hello and welcome to today's episode of Casting Actors Cast. I'm casting partner Jeffrey Dreisbach with the McCorkle Group in New York. I hope you're having a good day. This is our final episode of the new year. I can't believe it. What a year we've had, right? Uh, you know, I don't want to go back. <laughs> I don't want to relive last year. But I do want to say thank you so very much. This is that moment of the podcast where I just, I get to express my gratitude about you being there. The podcast podcast has grown exponentially. The videos are also growing tremendously, and I couldn't be more grateful. I really would appreciate it if you would give me a like or a thumbs up or maybe even a review on iTunes. That would be really awesome. But also, don't forget to go to the website, castingactorscast.com, all one word. And there you're going to find all kinds of really cool information, in, including a form that you can fill out called Dive Into the Talent Pool. And that will open up a menu so that you can download for free a book called Conversation Pieces Out of the Studio, the voiceover workshop for professional actors. In addition to that, there's a private YouTube video called Casting Secrets, What They Don't Want You to Know. And that's all for free. Additionally, I've just done something a little bit new with the website, and that is I put up some uh, show notes. We call it Jeff's Jots. Come on, I'm trying. <laughs> but those are some show notes that correspond to specific episodes. So if you wanted more specific information, maybe even a handout as a kind of a guide to help you with those episodes, please do check those out as well. You might even want to consider checking out Jeff's Jots um, first and then deciding, well, that might be a great episode for me to listen to. So have a great time going back into the archives, but not looking back into 2020, okay? <laughs> also, this is that moment where I get to express my gratitude and thanks to Actors Connection. ActorsConnection.com slash New York provides all kinds of really great online classes with professionals in the industry. We're talking casting directors, uh, agents, managers, professionals who really know what they are doing. And this is a great time to think about signing up for classes for the new year. Why not? check out Actors Connection. As I've mentioned before, we just have a nice promotional agreement with each other. I promote them on the patio, the podcast video. And then what's cool is they get to promote my podcast on their web shout outs. So that's how we do that. Anyway, you can also send me an email if you like, um, castingactorscast, all one word, at gmail.com. And then finally, I know we've had a couple of episodes where we've actually evaluated your auditions live on the air. If you would like to see more of that, just let me know. Maybe you would even consider sending your audition so that I can evaluate it live on the air. We've gotten all kinds of reaction and feedback from folks, and I couldn't be more grateful for that as well. Let's get on with our subject, shall we? Have you tried a resolution around New Year's? Has that happened to you? Do you do that? Have you done that in the past? I don't know about you, but I think I've tried every year, and then a part, part of the time I've tried and decided this was not maybe a good year to do it. <laughs> so what, what, what usually happens to you? when you make a New Year's resolution? Well, I can tell you what has happened to me, and maybe you can identify with this. So let's say you make a resolution, you make a plan, and then within a couple of days, maybe even a couple of weeks, suddenly that resolution is kind of gone. I know that that's been true for, you know, losing weight, getting exercise. Have you done that for your acting? Or maybe this, maybe you make a plan and you do stick to it, so that's really great. You feel good about that. But guess what? It doesn't happen 
the way you want it to. The results aren't there that you were hoping for or expecting. It's not what you want when you want it. Has that happened to you as well? Well, here's another scenario. You realize that making a New Year resolution is a waste of time, so you don't even bother. <laughs> Screw it. I'm not going to bother with a resolution. I'm just going to kind of just go with the flow and let's just see what happens. Well, you probably can guess where I'm going with this because there are problems with resolutions and also negative thinking at the same time. One is many times when we make resolutions, we don't factor in the things you have no control over. Does that make sense? So you don't have control over some of those things you make resolutions about. For example, you can say, uh, I'm going to uh, get an agent uh, in 2021, and that's my resolution. And well, let's just say maybe an agent doesn't make themselves available to you. So that's something you have no control over. The other thing I see when making a New Year's resolutions is um, oftentimes unrealistic expectations and goal setting. It's what I just talked about in terms of finding an agent or expectations are I'm going to get a feature film and make a million dollars in 2021. Well, that's great. You know, that's a, you know, that's a great resolution. We would all love to just cheer you on with that resolution, but that's kind of unrealistic, perhaps, depending upon where you are in your career, depending upon the kind of inroads you've already made in your career. So that might be a goal setting situation that is simply setting yourself up for some kind of disappointment, don't you think? So that becomes kind of unrealistic. Or oh, here's the third thing. You're forgetting that being an actor is a business, but it is also your creative self. In reality, you can't forget that being an actor means both things, that you are in a business for yourself, but you're also a creative person. And you need to be aware of those two different roles, forgive the pun, that you are playing. So that means I use the following phrase, and maybe this will help you. Know what you control. Ignore the roar. What I mean by that is know what you're in control of. Understand what are the things that you can do something well for yourself that you are absolutely in total and complete control of. And then ignore the roar. You know, the roar for me, uh, those voices in my head that are talking you know, trash talk <laughs> all the time. Or those external influences. You're never going to, it doesn't make sense that you, you know, whatever that argument in, is in your head, either coming from external sources, sometimes from loved ones, but sometimes it's from people, uh, the friends meaning well. You need to just simply ignore those negative things that push your buttons and know what you can control is something that you can indulge and feel good about. And I don't mean indulge in a negative way. I mean indulge in a way that you can see uh, progress with the choices that you make. So here's an example of that. What you can control, for example. Number one, taking classes. You know, as I mentioned about uh, Actors Connection, but there are all kinds of really great places where you can sign up for classes that are going to make you feel better about your choices as an actor. They're going to help you in your business choices and decisions. And taking classes is really a relatively simple process right now, especially because we're going to be online for a little while longer. I know the virus has just been released. We're all getting inoculated in time, over time. Thank you very much. But taking classes is one of those things that you can be committed to and feel very, very good about. Now, I understand the other issues. The other side of that is that taking classes costs money. Well, I would rather have you not feel like you're a victim of circumstance and therefore take in some of these other options that are available to you. There are lots of Facebook groups that are out there, actors helping actors. 
And so you might want to get involved with a community of like-minded folks that are there helping each other. Although it's not a class per se, it can certainly be a great reinforcing strategy for your acting career in 2021. Also, because financially it's very, very difficult, there are lots of free opportunities that are out there. Okay, do I have to be like, hit you over the head and say that listening to my podcasts, patios, you can take notes, you can feel like you're getting some kind of instruction on how to do this free and easy. And there's all kinds of other websites out there, you know, Backstage has a, a really nice video series. So you could take a look at what Backstage is doing in terms of their um, video. Uh, their YouTube video stuff is really amazing. So taking classes doesn't just mean here's my money, now teach me. It really means that you can open yourself up to those things that you might not have thought of as being more in your control. Uh, here's another thing that you can do for yourself. Don't get mad at me for this, <laughs> but learn a new monologue. There are all kinds of new material out there. There's all kinds of new monologues that are out there. Do your research, read some plays, find monologues, record something off of the video, transcribe it, and create a little monologue for yourself. You know, I love monologues because, as I mentioned in several monologue patios, you know, they're so self-contained and that you can really feel like your creative spirit is being worked on just a little bit if you choose to work on a new monologue. Also, one thing that you can do for yourself is feeling like there is some kind of commitment to people in the industry. Now, that kind of might sound a little bit confusing at first because you think, well, I have no control over agents and managers and blah, 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 blah. But you know what? You do have control over making contact with those folks, uh, casting directors, directors, producers, agents, managers, those people that are in the industry whose work you like. Maybe you want to start moving forward with that database of people that you've worked with or people that you've made connections with. Maybe it's time to come up with a systematic approach to making contact with some of these folks. I know that that would be something that would be really, really positive and helpful. All right, now don't hate me for this one either. <laughs> I can just hear you. <laughs> but you know what? Is this time for some new pictures? Maybe this is the time to freshen up your resume. What about your social media? Your social media accounts, your acting social media accounts. Uh, what about your website? Has that been freshened up lately? Are you keeping up with your blogs? Are you infusing your personality into all of those areas where you can become very unique to others? And your resume, your pictures, your social media, because it is your uniqueness that is going to find success in the business of acting. I know I've said that many times before. But then let's also talk about your physical, your mental, and emotional health. I know this is also a hard one, right? I mean, in reality, we have all just had it up to here with the COVID virus, right? We're just, we're done, right? We're, we're just done. And yet we're still being asked to have some kind of emotional health um, some, and staying uh, physically healthy. This is not the time to sort of have that forget about it attitude. This is the time to double down on those efforts that you know, deep down, something that you can do something about. I'm not trying to, to kind of show off, you know, smell me, but I make a committed effort to walking two to four miles every day. And it has made such a difference in my mental and my emotional health as well as my physical health. I haven't gained the COVID-20, right? <laughs> and so I would just suggest that you evaluate where you are with that. Not to necessarily put it in a resolution that you're not going to follow through with. But just make an assessment about where you are, where you'd like to be, and what do you have in your control that you can do something about. That's my wish for you. Let's move on from there. There's also what I call the security plan. You know, job security, who knows? You might not be in a situation where you can even address this 
as a plan. Um, you might feel like you're the victim of the circumstances we find ourselves in, and that's absolutely fair. And you have my heartfelt thoughts, and I am concerned for everyone in that situation. And I certainly, we've had our struggles, so I get it. But security as far as what you have control over might mean what you can do with your family. What financial security can you figure out? Again, it's about not feeling victimized by circumstance, but it is really about assessing where you are and then assessing what you might have control over. Now let's talk, those are things that you have control over, right? Let's talk about things you have no control over. These are things you have no control over, believe me. One, your next audition. <laughs> As an actor, you're not sure when your next audition is going to show up. You might have something on the horizon already, that's great. But you don't know, tomorrow there may be a new opportunity from actors' uh, access. Uh, breakdown services might have an audition. You just don't know. So you have to be ready and available. But you really have no control over the, that. Also, guess what? You don't have any control over all of those external events in your world. Those things that are like swirling around us that we can't do anything about, like when are you going to get an inoculation? Are you going to get an inoculation? I think it's a good idea, but you might feel very scared about that right now, and that's fair. No one's going to talk you out of your decision, except that I would ask you to stay open to that as a scenario for good health and for the future of you as an actor. But you don't have any control over what tomorrow is going to bring. And that can feel disconcerting sometimes. But you know what? Sometimes I also find it can be very uh, reassuring because you can just simply decide to plan smart. Be honest in your self-assessment. Find joy in simple things. Do your best and keep your sense of humor. That's kind of like a mantra of mine. Find things that are uniquely funny. <laughs> they are not ha-ha funny necessarily, but stay forward thinking. When you see something that strikes you as funny, acknowledge it, own it. Because having a sense of humor can make a huge difference in your overall well-being. You know, not the least of which is the serotonin, all of those chemicals in our body when we laugh get released. There's something to be said about that. I wouldn't sort of dismiss that. I would kind of embrace having that kind of humor in our lives. Another thing that I think has been so incredibly helpful for me, and I'm just going to pass this along, but just being able to help another actor. Being able to do something for another actor is such a great thing. Maybe you're going to partner up with somebody and work on a scene together. Maybe you're just going to get together on a weekly basis and talk about what's going on um, as far as your game plan. All of those things are really, really great. You can do it on Zoom. You can do it over on the phone. Um, there's no reason why you can't make those kinds of connections until we get back to some sense of normalcy. I guess what I'm really trying to say here, and I'm, I don't know if I'm doing a great job at it, but I've had such a great time in doing this podcast and this vid these videos, these patios. It's meant the world to me to be able to share something and maybe help some of you out there. And I know I have because I constantly get letters of gratitude and thanks. And that leads me to a few final thoughts. I guess what I'm trying to say, in other words, is try to find gratitude. Be grateful. Try to be creative. And here is the answer to the question I started with at the beginning of this patio, this podcast video. To answer the question, acting in 2021, practice success. Practice success. I'm Jeffrey Dreisbach. This is Casting Actors Cast, and I wish you the happiest new year. Thanks. Casting Actors Cast is made possible with your support. 
just by listening. Please like, share, and subscribe wherever you get your podcasts.